Hi there. I'm going to do my best to uh, condense this information into the shortest video possible, but it's a lot of information, so bear with me if I'm speaking kind of fast. I wanted to share with you all a data hack. Um, I didn't just come up with it, something that I've kind of lived my life by, but I just figured out what it was. Um, data hack essentially is uh, a sequence of information, little bits of um, data that when consumed kind of connect the dots and create an aha moment, kind of like when you see something or you learn something and all of a sudden all of the related material that you've learned uh, that is attached to that uh, illuminate and you realize, oh, it's like the missing link, the piece of the puzzle. That's what a data hack is. And I've come up or I've understood that I have over the years come up with a data hack for optimal health. I came up with this by understanding three concepts. One, the placebo effect. Um, it's interesting that placebo works at all. I mean, why do we have doctors if you could just lie to your patient all of a sudden their body can heal itself? Well, I don't quite understand or know the answer to that, but I know that it works. Clinical trials have proven that it works. One in particular that I'm really fascinated with because uh, it um, meets all the requirements of proper clinical trials as a uh, in regards to scientific study because of the particular way the control groups were divided and the facility it was held in and the, and the professionals that conducted it. It's called a Response Expectancies and Placebo Analgesia and Their Clinical Relevance by an Antonella Polo, um, proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that placebo effect is very real and does in fact work significantly. Um, at any rate, also we have a bunch of anecdotal evidence, not just of placebo, but alternative medicine in general. Uh, you know, cancer patients having their symptoms suppressed or completely um, forced into submission because of laughter or vitamins. Um, and then, you know, the inert sugar pills that people take, all of a sudden pain relief is uh, is something they experience or their immune is, the system is bolstered and uh, they fight off infection faster um, when all they did was take inert medicine. The point is this is kind of fascinating but what it implicate, what it implies is that the body clearly has the power to heal itself. Um, doctors don't do the healing, they just help to create an optimal environment for the healing to occur. So if you can assist your body in creating an optimal environment by healthy diet and exercise, by uh, the right information in your head, the proper attitude, because it's also been proven that attitude really affects treatment. When you go to the doctor and you're taking medicine, your medicine works better when you have a positive attitude. So understanding the body has the power to heal itself is step one. Step two is understanding how it heals itself, regeneration. A lot of people might have or might not have heard, uh, I guess, the old age-old tale that all of the cells in your body regenerate every three or five or seven years, and you're a whole new person. Uh, well, it turns out that's mostly true. Believe it or not, 98% or even more of the cells in your body regenerate every seven to ten years. The only ones that don't are DNA. Um, half of your cardiomyocyte cells and certain areas of the prefrontal cortex, uh, the neurons don't regenerate. But for the most part, everything else does. So that means that unless you're born with a genetic uh, illness, with, with something that affects your, your DNA, uh, unless you're born with that data, um, if you have an illness, why would it persist beyond the regeneration of your cells? Why would you continue to have it years and years on end? And I know that cancer, for the most part, affects DNA and cell replication, but it didn't start that way, which means you have healthy cells in your body with healthy DNA that can regenerate and replicate to its healthy original state. So, one, understand the body heals itself. Two, understand how, because you're practically a brand new person from head to toe. Every fiber of your being, except for a small percentage of cells every few years. And then the third part is understanding that your thoughts affect the physical universe on a molecular level. Every time you think something, in your own body, a lot of changes happen. Neuropeptides are created in your brain, synapse occurs. You actually affect on several molecular, molecular levels 
a physical change in your own body with thought. But prevailing uh, research is showing now that thoughts actually affect the physical universe on the outside of our bodies too. The long and skinny of it is kind of a complicated subject, but in short, I'll tell you, uh, a lot of scientists believe that there's something called a cortical field, um, mainly made up of energy and water since everything on Earth, all the life forms, etc., are mostly made of water, uh, that create a frequency that when you think of certain thoughts or concentrate many thoughts, you can create a frequency that gets sent out, and that frequency can interact with other energy and water, other cortical fields, etc., and affect change. So that being the case, and there actually have been anecdotal evidence to show this, uh, you can remind the cells in your body of their original healthy state. Kind of like uh, the story in Mutant Message Down Under by Marlo Morgan of the Aborigine man that fell off of the rock femur bone broken, protruding out of the skin, uh, medicine man and healer woman set the bone, sat there and prayed on it all day, and then the next day the guy was walking on it. And my theory is that what they were doing was using their cortical fields to remind the bone of its original state. And then in the presence of stem cells, because they put this menstrual blood and moss uh, mixture on it, um, they actually have stimulated a faster regeneration of healthy bone cells. And that's it. So, three steps to the data hack. Understand the body has the power to heal pretty much any ailment. Understand how it heals because it regenerates and understand that your brain has the ability to affect things on a molecular level uh, in the physical universe. Now you see the recipe for optimal health. Just like I believe that me holding these uh, beliefs is the reason why I have not stepped foot in a hospital since I was in middle school. My mom took me. Like, literally, I don't get sick. I never get sick. If something brings me down and my immune system is weakened because I'm pushing myself too hard and I'm not getting enough sleep, I might get a cold or whatever. It's gone in a day. Um, I haven't had to see a doctor in the better part of 20 years and I know a lot of people that are like that healthier than I am and then we look at all the people who have overcome cancer from alternative medicine treatments uh, I, the thing that we all have in common is this steadfast belief that no illness can bring us down and that belief actually affects reality at any rate I hope that this helps it is the condensed version. I'm actually, I've actually written a very detailed article on this subject, uh, and I will include a link to that um, probably somewhere in the information. At any rate, but that was the, the short and skinny for those of you with much shorter attention spans. I hope that it helps. Be well and do good things.